This is a guy community garden that we uh, try to teach the people how to eat healthier and live longer. And there's a program we got through the extension program, you know, that make a little changes in Geiger. And in my role there is to make sure everything functions properly, that whatever they give us, we do it properly. We plant on time, we harvest on time, and make sure that everybody in the community kind of share what we produce to the community. When harvest time comes and everything else, we come out here and uh, we uh, gather our crop and separate it into different bags and everything else. And basically what we try to do first is to take it around to all the elderly people that we know can't come out here and help us out. You know, we have 19 young kids in the program we started, young children in the program we started. The most exciting part was we teach young children by taking the sweet potato and cutting off the vine and plant it, that it make better, produce better potatoes than that. And just teaching young children that food just don't appear in Piggly Wiggly. It had to come from somewhere. And they got the idea now where it comes from. Uh, the more they work with us and find out just exactly how stuff grows and everything else, it might not be so quite so hard to uh, get them to start eating vegetables and things that they don't like. I'll say they don't like because they don't know. Round like this. You see I got it? Nothing around the roof. Much. I do all of them like this. People that live together ought to work together. And we become one. And yeah, that's what we have got to do. Bring our community together so that all the problems that we have in the community, working in the garden, working in a setting like this, you begin to talk about some things, then you begin to feel each other, then you begin to be around each other, then, you know, we come into a little small community in love and peace and harmony. So that's why we need a community garden, and I think they had done that. Well, the garden has done a whole lot for the community because you got a lot of people that are coming out here maybe digging a little bit with a shovel or, or raking a little bit and everything else uh, builds up physical stamina. And the more uh, you do uh, physically and everything else, quite naturally, the better off your health will be. In order for you to get something done and everything else, you got to first show somebody else that you're willing to do something for yourself. Uh, we don't expect nobody to come out here and just start a garden for us and we sit at the house on the porch. My advice for other towns was it be to do all you can do to make sure that the project be successful. Don't look at what you have, look at what you don't have and work on that. 